Hey YouTube, it's Andrew from AMD Tech and a few months ago I was able to purchase the iPad Pro. Unfortunately, I was not able to get the Apple Smart Keyboard that they also released in conjunction with the iPad Pro. Well, Best Buy had it this past week and I was able to snag one and put it through its paces. And here is my overall thoughts and impressions of the Apple Smart Keyboard for the iPad Pro. So here's how the Apple keyboard for the iPad Pro works. It connects more or less like a smart cover. As you remember, in most iPads, they have a smart cover that Apple released. This is more or less the same. It connects via the uh, smart connect port, which are these three pogo pins right here. It connects via magnets. So it goes, let me see if I can do this. And there it goes. So you have a nice secure connection and it folds into a laptop mode. Here's what I don't like about this keyboard by Apple. First, it doesn't have a backlight. For whatever reason, Apple chose not to include a backlight, unlike Logitech, which made the Logitech Create, which had a backlight. So I'm not really sure why Apple was not able to do so. Now, to get around the lack of a dedicated home key or volume up and down key and all that stuff, there are shortcuts that Apple does say you can use in iOS. For instance, if you want to use a home key, you press the command shift H and that brings you home. If you want to toggle between applications, you go command tab and go to the different applications. So there are ways to get around it, but I still wish that Apple would have included a dedicated home key along with volume up and down key of mute key and all that. But again, hopefully in the next iteration, they will address that shortcoming. Another thing I don't like about the Apple keyboard, it has only one fixed position. Too many times I found myself trying to get a better angle, moving it forward, trying to move it back. Unfortunately, this is the only position that it allows. Another negative that this device has is the fact that it doesn't cover the back of the device. So when you fold it up, ready to go, unfortunately, it leaves the whole back exposed. Now, it's not all negative with this device. One of the things I really do like about it is the keyboard. I think it's a nice size keyboard considering the size. And the other thing I like about this is its form factor. When you close it up, fold it up, take it to go, I think this makes a really nice compact way to go about your business without having to lug around a lot of weight. So overall, what do I think about the Apple Smart Keyboard for the Apple iPad Pro? Is it a buy or a don't buy? I'm gonna have to say it's a don't buy. First, it's very expensive. At $169, Apple came in at a too high of a price point. Second, it doesn't give any protection to the back of the tablet. Third, the backlight on the keyboard is missing. There is no backlight, a big miss by Apple. And finally, there's no dedicated home button. There's no volume up and down key and no media keys. All big misses by Apple. And for that reason, I cannot recommend it to you. This has been the review of the Apple Smart Keyboard for the Apple iPad Pro. Please leave your comments below. Please hit the like button and please subscribe. More videos are coming soon. New reviews, new unboxings are on the way. This is Andrew from AMD Tech. Until next time, see ya.